Talk about up close and personal. Look at that sea turtle. That is beautiful. Can you tell you anything about turtles? So here at the Marine Mammal Research and Rehabilitation Center, uh, we have several species on for the public to see every day. Uh, those include some loggerhead turtles, green turtle, the Florida manatee, and two dolphins. One is a spinner dolphin and the other is a pantropical spotted dolphin. So they're unique animals you're not going to see every day. Uh, here we're at our turtle lagoons. And these turtles, um, the loggerhead in front of us here, mm -hmm. uh, is the same species that nest on Sarasota County beaches. Mm -hmm. About 99% of the sea turtle nests in our area are loggerhead nests. And uh, we also have a handful of greens every season. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. You can pick his head up there one more time. season every spring until fall. It's very important if you're staying on beachfront property in Sarasota or any nesting sea turtle beaches worldwide actually, uh, to keep the lights dim, shielded, and at low frequencies. Uh, it's very important because the sea turtles, both the nesting females and the hatchlings when they do hatch from the nest, can be disoriented by lights and uh, such from some of the condos and residences and hotels along the water. So keep lights off during nesting season for turtles. All right. And look at that manatee. That's a big critter there. There's a couple of them in this aquarium. Okay, now these look like some, some big animals here, these manatees. Can they you tell are. us a little bit about them? They are indeed. Uh, despite what uh, they might look like in terms of their, their stomachs and overall weight, they actually eat 72 heads of romaine lettuce every day. So it's a pretty slim diet from my perspective at mm -hmm. least. I don't think it would do this quite the same thing for me. Uh, these manatees are actually, um, they were born at Miami Sea Aquarium mm -hmm. and have lived at Moat since 1996. Mm -hmm. Today we study their sensory abilities and so that research aims to figure out exactly how manatees um, see or feel, experience the waters in which they have habitate so that we might be able to provide better information to the government agencies or other authorities that can properly regulate the waters that we need to share with the marine life out there. Wow, that is really neat. And here's a really cool gift shop. This looks like a, a white... What? Oh, there, look at that. Yeah, some type of a seal. Look, and all these different animals you can get. There you get t-shirts, Moat Aquarium t-shirts. So you get a little souvenir to take home with you.